Well, good morning. Welcome back to GP Outdoors. It's early and it's cold out, but with coffee in hand, I wanted to head up the driveway to the concession road before sunrise so I could get some footage to see how well this BCM24 Amber Beacon works. In essence, I just wanted to see how bright it really was or how well it illuminates when you're in the dark. You'll notice on the video today, although it's short, I've tried not to move the camera too many times because I wanted to see any change in illumination or brightness of that LED beacon when the tractor changes its orientation, especially given how bright those front work lights are. The current strobe pattern that you see on the beacon is its default. It has 25 different flash patterns. So I think what I'm going to do over the coming weeks is I'm just going to play with them and check through some of them just to see what the difference is. This current pattern is very brilliant. At the risk of stating the obvious, the first thing I noticed after watching this footage is when you have an angle directly facing the front of the tractor, those bright LED work lights definitely overpower the beacon. Either way, I'm visible, but you can still see the illumination from the beacon against the sides of all the trees or in the area surrounding the tractor. But as the tractor changes orientation, the beacon itself takes over and you can see it much clearer. You'll notice, you can see the trees in and around the tractor illuminated and you can see the flash reflecting off of the leaves or off of the branches of the trees. also wanted to thank you folks for your great comments, especially some of the great advice or suggestions I received after watching the two-part series. Several of you had suggested that I put some dielectric grease or some shrink wrap over those bullet connectors, and I'll do just that. I've got some dielectric grease on hand, and I think that might help, as you've mentioned, to slow corrosion over time. Well, hey, you're heading out line dancing this Friday night, but you know that cowboy hat's a little passe. You need something for that lid, don't worry. My Kubota dealer, B.E. Larkin here in Stovall, Ontario, they've got you covered, literally. It's a genuine Kubota hat. One of my favorite designs, actually. Sharp, clean, classy lines, but not overstated. If this hat doesn't get the gals up on the dance floor for you, nothing will. If you want to be eligible to win this genuine Kubota hat, just leave a comment under this video and make sure somewhere in your comment you write the word Kubota, all in lowercase letters, no capitals. In about 48 hours, I'll use a random comment selector to pick a winner and I will reply to your comment requesting that you email me. You don't want to be that one left on the dance floor all by yourself. Big thanks to the Larkin family at BE Larkin, my Kubota dealership here in Stovall, Ontario. I greatly appreciate your kindness and good luck to all of you subscribers in the giveaway. Cheers.
Several of you also asked me why I didn't mount that beacon on the driver's side of the tractor, or what would be considered the left side mirror mount. That's because the antenna, and all the wiring for that antenna, occupy the space on the left mount. I know that some of you suggested it would have been a little more effective to have the beacon on that side of the tractor so that it in essence flashes down the middle of the roadway when you're driving through it. But either way, you'll see through this video, that beacon is pretty impressive. It's really bright, whether it's on the left side or the right side. You'll see me coming. Although you don't see it in every video, just because I edit out a lot when I'm doing snowblower videos, whenever I clean out the end of my driveway, I never ever push snow onto the road and leave it there. I always clean it up and bring it back to the initial bank that was left by the municipal plow. I'm pretty sure it's against the law to push snow onto a roadway here in Ontario, but I don't do it for that reason. I do it because it's common sense. In fact, even here on the road, as I drive behind that row of trees, I'm much more visible because of that beacon. You can see it flashing between the branches. At the end of the day, I'm very happy with the brilliance of this LED beacon. She shines a long way. We had a lot of traffic coming through this morning too, and it may just be me because I'm conscious of it now, but I couldn't help but notice that the cars or the trucks passing all slowed down and carefully went around. And in my recollection, that doesn't happen too often. Perhaps it's the power of the beacon. I hope you found the two-part series on the installation of this beacon helpful, or at least informative. Have a wonderful week with your families. Please be kind to one another, and I'll see you again right here on GP Outdoors. Cheers.